Good morning, Rehoboth. Welcome to day six of GBM's week of prayer. Got the info here, so you know the drill by now. So I'll read the info, read the passage, and then we'll pray together. So today we are asked to be praying for Ireland. And here is what GBM write. Daniel and Eli Caballero are based in Cork in the southwest of Ireland. They are working in partnership with the Association of Baptist Churches in Ireland on the Cork Carey Project, a partnership between local churches that aims to plant gospel churches where there is no gospel witness. The strong influence of Irish Catholicism is on the wane, but progress in church planting requires long-term relationships, resilience and much prayer. Pray for Daniel's ministry in these churches, that his preaching may be a blessing for many. Pray that many in and around Cork will come to Christ amid the upheavals of this year. And pray that a GBM Envision team planned for the end of August will be able to go ahead and that there will be a full team of volunteers. So we'll be praying for Ireland and uh, Daniel and Eli Caballero, uh, but I wanted to read a few verses from Matthew 11 and from verse 28 we read our Lord Jesus speaking here, come to me all you who are weary and burdened and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me for I am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So let's come to the Lord in prayer together. Let's pray. Almighty God, we thank you for our Lord Jesus Christ who spoke these words, inviting us to come and find rest for our souls with him. Oh Lord, we uh, thank you that from all the burdens of our sin and guilt, there is um, a lightening of the load when we come to know you. Many people, Lord, uh, we have been praying for live in various shades of darkness and we would like to pray for the people of Ireland today living in the darkness of Catholicism. We thank you that uh, the, the uh, influence um, is, is waning but Lord we don't want people just to come out of one darkness and be replaced with another form of it. We pray that those people will come to Christ and we pray that they will find rest, true rest, genuine rest uh, for their souls with him. We pray for Daniel and Ellie, we thank you for them and for their ministry, we pray that you will watch over them and encourage them in their own walk with you, uh, bless their work while they are there. We pray Lord for Daniel's sermons that they will be spirit-filled and they will be helpful to your people but also reaching the lost. We also pray Heavenly Father that you bless and, uh, and save Lord many through the efforts of, uh, of this project, the to remind myself of the name, the Cork Carey Project. We pray that indeed many gospel churches will be planted and many um, witnesses that will be therefore permanently there, reminding people of the God who made them and the Saviour who can save them, that these churches will be planted. Indeed, we pray for the necessary long-term relationships and resilience um, for, for all involved in this. We pray indeed for this Envision team that is planned for the end of August. So many things have been cancelled because of the pandemic. We pray that this will not have to be cancelled, but we'll be able to go ahead. And um, that those people who go on this Envision team may be an encouragement to the saints there uh, on uh, in Ireland, but also that they themselves will come home refreshed and re ready to serve wherever they, uh, they, they've gone from to Ireland with that short-term mission team. So, Father, we pray that your hand of blessing 
will be on Daniel and Eli as they seek to serve you in Ireland, and indeed that you will turn the hearts of the people to yourself. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, may the Lord bless your day, and uh, tomorrow uh, there will be no Good Morning Rehoboth recorded, but please do join us for the early morning prayer. The uh, details about that, as usual, will be circulated a little bit later on today on WhatsApp, and there we will be focusing on uh, the GBM week of prayer in our prayers as well. So please do join us then, and our live stream on Sunday as well. We will we will uh, dedicate some time to pray for the people that GBM designates for that day. So thank you for praying for God's work to be uh, going ahead in this world throughout this week. God bless you.